Hello my lovely friends, it's nice to see you again and again yes, sorry for being a few weeks off and not uploading video but it's been a lot of preparation and recently I received this wonderful lens the Viltrox IF16 1.8 FE which is a full frame autofocus lens for Sony and I've been waiting for a lens like that for ages recently kind of a thinking of borrowing money to buy something extremely expensive just so I can accommodate my needs of filming in a small studio but luckily Viltrox released this lens and I bought it a few weeks ago maybe a month but as you can see I'm sharing just right now and I'm not gonna do any review on this lens or technical kind of a video there's plenty of videos out there on the YouTube which you can go and see I want to talk to you about the reason why I got this lens and why you maybe need this lens if you're in the same situation like me. Now tomorrow I'm flying to Bulgaria as I mentioned so I'm gonna fly light this time. I'm taking only one camera and probably two lenses. One of them is gonna be the Viltrox, the other one is gonna be probably my 50mm which I'm filming just now at the moment. And instead of taking my A7C Sony I'm gonna go with the ZV E10. So I'm go going traveling extremely light but there's a reason behind it because I want to show you how to travel light and how to make the best setup for your travels instead of going with a full back if you're not on any assignment and you're just going for the fun of it. Okay so today we're going to talk about the Viltrox uh, very quickly but I think I'm going to have to move because basically the video is all about the reason why I needed this lens in my life. So I'm going to move to my bar just here on the side. Uh, this way I can show you uh, one of the main reasons why I got this lens and obviously do a little comparison between the 50mm, 35mm and the 16mm and basically give you an idea what is the situation when you're filming in the small studio like this. Mine is 3 by 3 and a half meters and why you may need this lens. So I'll see you on the other side or should I say I'll see you in the bar in a second. Okay, welcome to my bar and as I mentioned we're talking about this baby here in the box but before I open it the reason why again I wanted a lens like that is because as you can see this is the bar which I film my other channel which is Just Shake or Steer when I do cocktails on a weekly basis and we're expanding so I have co-hosts now and when I was alone before it was fine because I was filming obviously on the Alpha 7C I have a newer like a slider which it's going up and down so I can use the 50mm lens and I can kind of uh, create this uh, you know fake zoom in and out. Sometimes I used to film on the 35mm but no matter what I do I never can fit the whole bar in the frame. So I used to have two cameras I used to have the A7C which I'm never gonna get rid of it because I love this camera and I used to have the ZV E1 I think it was yeah but now I recently I just bought the E10 the reason why is because I can have two cameras and I can have two different angles and of course 50 mil or 35 mil works for this fantastic but with two hosts behind the same bar we need a full shot of the bar and as you know lenses like this 16 mil they cost quite a lot and Viltrox just absolutely smash the market I think with this lens watching so many reviews of photographers and videographers which is miles much better than me such a good uh, reviews so I decided to go and purchase one for myself which as I mentioned came a month ago and I still didn't have time to do this video and I'm doing it today just a night before I fly to my holidays. Okay my friends it's time to open this box it's not gonna be a review of the lens it's not gonna be any unboxing or things like that obviously we're gonna unbox it really quick uh, I'm pretty much lying down on the bar because with the 50 mil that's what's happening uh, and we're gonna do a very quick comparison between the 50 mil the 35 mil which I have just here and of course the view trucks so let's open it quick so obviously straight out of the box uh, we're not gonna need that so we can put it down here and let's see what we have inside I'm so excited I've been waiting for that just to open this box to share with you the excitement of finally getting something which is affordable 
and obviously bring lots of quality to the scene. Oh, that's a nice bag to keep the lens in, all the bags, all the warranty cards. I'm gonna look this later on. You don't need to know anything about it. Beautiful packaging, and there we go. Lens is here. And I'm gonna open it very quick. Look at that baby, huh? How good it is. I'm presuming you've watched already reviews about the lens and you know about the quick buttons on the side to change between settings. Let me just focus a little bit. Uh, yeah, so change between settings or the step rings and the wonderful build quality of the lens. It's, a, it's not heavy, but it's feel really, really strong. Uh, metal body, obviously, is just, it's just beautiful. So I'm so excited about that. Now what I'm gonna do, very quick, uh, I'm gonna set up the camera on a level which I want to be, and we're gonna start with the 50 mil moving to 35 and moving to the view trucks. Okay, so stay with me if you wanna see the difference and find out if this is the one lens which is gonna save your videos or gonna help you to produce more content in the small room. Okay, bear with me. Okay, my friends, so this is where is my tripod. At the moment it's, if I'll say one and a half meter away from me and you can see how small is my frame. Uh, my body is a little bit bigger, I mean it's not huge, but there's more to see. And uh, when I film, as I mentioned, let me just show you, I use the newer, like a slider, which it's kind of a um, 45 degree hanging from the shelf behind the camera and it's attached to the tripod, so I have this kind of a level where I can bring the 50 mil all the way to the top when I do headshot, when I'm straight up like that, which obviously you can't see me now. And then I can bring it down when I film the cocktail here in front of me. However, uh, filming alone with the 50 mil, it's fine because you have the slider, it's helping you, it's a good assistant, and of course, it's doing the job. But having a co-host, now we need more space because it's two of us, so we need to be both in the frame. So we try with the 35 mil, and this is how it's look with 35 mil. So this is how it's look with 35 mil, which is fine. Two holes, you're getting there. And the 50 mil can go on my ZV-8 E10. So I can have like on the side angle shooting the cocktail and have a few different angles, which I can play with the zoom in, with the pan, with the teal, and all this kind of a after filming production, which I can bring to Da Vinci and do some kind of a nice movement and make the video more interesting. But still you can see just this angle of the bar here and there's a little bit more on this side. But what I want, the camera at the moment is still on the tripod, one meter and a half from me. And this is it, we can use the slider, we can bring more and down. But when I bring up the camera, obviously you're gonna see the ceiling on the top and it's not that pretty because it's just a small kind of a garden room which I isolate and make as a studio. So the first reason why I wanted the 16 mil is because I want the camera to be close to me. Uh, at the moment I'm using uh, external monitor on the back, like uh, just a flat monitor. If you watch the video with how to travel light, this is the, the small, uh, like a slim monitor which I'm using to monitor myself. It's wonderful because it's 15 inch and I can see just behind the camera how focused and how good is the picture. At the moment I'm not doing so, hopefully it's focusing. But I want to have more control of the camera and with the 16 mil, I can literally decide where I can put it. Yeah, that's the first reason. Second, for me, this size attached to the ZV E10, yeah, it's look horrendous because the lens is bigger than the, slightly bigger than the camera, pretty much the same size. But all you need when you travel, to be honest. But that's a kind of a, you know, uh, totally different video which I'm gonna do on my journey and my holiday so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe for it if you want to see the whole setup because I have a wonderful setup for you how to travel light everything you need seriously uh, so I needed something like that because in general the ZV E10 it's the camera which I want to be a uh, position in the studio here and never move. Always set up on video and do all the stuff about the video. The Alpha 7C may be 
do an angle shots, but it's mainly for my photography, so I don't want this to be used for filming. Not anymore, but I don't want to be the main camera, okay? And also with this setup, uh, if I'm close to the camera or I have uh, close access, if you watch some of the reviews for this lens, you, you will notice there's two buttons on the side, which you can there function buttons. So one of the best things which is going to work exactly for me is that I can set up two different like a sets. So I can have a zoom in or zoom out. I can have different sets so I can just switch very quickly between them and just keep filming. So now I think it's time to go from 35 to the 16 and see what difference that makes. Okay, I've not moved the tripod at all. It's one meter and a half away from me and it's Boy, that's insane. Now you can see the whole room, pretty much the half of it. So this is where is the bar. The camera is so far away, which it's insane. But I hope you're getting the difference, okay? This is what's happened when you have a lens like that. Your small room became your biggest studio, which you need, and you can do whatever you desire because you can fit so many things in the frame is absolutely insane as you can see i can't even believe i can see my guitar which is on the side of me and the poster the poster is finished just here so it's it's kind of in front of me and it's in your frame you can see it you don't have to but having this freedom and this ability to use this full frame and uh, this wide open lens in a small room like that it's gonna change totally everything on the channel and it's a game changer for uh, my cocktail channel and for everything else what I do. Uh, I can't wait to see it in action, traveling, but yeah, so far, absolutely amazing. The lens, it's beautiful. As I say, I'm not going to go to reviews or things like that, but I just want to say it's worth every penny. And just to make a kind of a more even interesting now, uh, very quick, I'm going to move my tripod closer to the bar to see how close to me it is and how can I maybe operate the camera just with one touch. So let's find out. Okay, so the camera is basically, I can touch the lens. You see, that's how close it is. And the bar still in the frame. That is just beautiful. So my idea is uh, to have, extend the bar a little bit forward and have the slider in front of me. So now I can actually get fully operating uh, and filming videos alone with much more motion and different styles because the, the actual slider have the ability to zoom on a spot. Let's say I do a cocktail here and I can focus on the shaker or on the glass or whatever I do and I can program the slider to move left and right but always focus on the actual glass. So. That's a one plus. Second, I can just reach the camera if I need something and I can switch off or switch on. And at the moment it's like a literally, yeah, you see I can touch, but it could come at another probably 30 centimeters in front of me. So it's basically just, I can operate while I'm filming. So that is probably the most biggest main reason I wanted a lens like that. It's so close to me, it's so easy for filming alone. It's absolutely game changer. It's going to change your life if you're in a small room like me. And that's it. I know it's quite, I'm so excited. So I don't know, I probably should have read like a, write a script about this video, but I just wanted to open the box. I just wanted to put on the camera, pack my bag and get the plane tomorrow and go on holiday and share with you wonderful things with this lens and see how it's performed on a crop sensor, because obviously it's not gonna be 16 mil, but it's still gonna do a fantastic shot, I'm pretty sure, and it's gonna be lighter than taking the Alpha 7C, and I wanna go with just one camera and two lenses this time, not bringing anything else. So, uh, this is it guys, uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and do me a favor, uh, put some suggestions, or tell me what you wanna see from this wonderful view trox lens yeah tell me what you're interested in or maybe what you want me to test when i'm away and when i'm out and about and filming videos so why not just tell me what you want and i'm gonna do my best 
to upload quick or a longer video depends on the subject and answer your questions okay but yeah now i'm gonna go and uh, yeah finish my packing and go to a holiday and i'll see you in a few days from bulgaria but until then stay safe and yeah i'm out now bye bye